don't know. I must have had some craft room gremlins in here last night or something because my camera had slid down and it was so close to the table. Anyway, so I couldn't wait, <laughs> predictably. And I went ahead and did the edges and around here. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. You can see how beautifully that crackle is coming, though. I don't really want to collapse it, but I'll do this. There, so you can see. It's still drying. And I am not going to rush it. I, I'm going to hold it this way, though, with the, the lid like that. And just go ahead and glop some paint on this area here. And uh, so I can get... I wish that burning would go away. My eyes are just... I have no idea what's causing it. Something in this room, I think. <laughs> Could be anything. Could be the coffee. <laughs> okay, so there's that end. And it is starting to crackle almost immediately. Oh, I love that crackle finish. Okay. So I'll do this side. Even there. There we go. Lovely. The whole outside is done except the bottom, which I'm going to put paper on. <clears throat> and I suppose I'll start on the inside of the mirror here. Uh, it's a little tricky because the handle's still wet, so I'm just going to do. And going a little bit more thin on this area along the side because of course this hand this uh, lid has to close and open I probably wind up doing a little bit of sanding later on to make it fit better touch the hand a little bit and coax a little bit of paint down in there just so I can crackle finish that edge and because I did put I did gesso the inside of the box as well so when I go to paper, it'll adhere well and everything is sealed. The um, <laughs> paint color, I was just going to tell you what I used. Ah, here we go. On the box before, like before the crackle finish, it's just as crafter's acrylic tan is what it's called. And that's all I used. I really like the color actually. I thought it looked like bamboo. Um, but for you, I'm making the crackle. All right, that is all. <laughs> That's everything that I can do. I guess I can maybe. I hold this little lid here I might be able to I don't want to touch it I might be able to sneak in there and get a coat in there as well that's what I want I think I got the crackle medium down in there as well, so we'll soon see if it starts to crackle. Okay, so you can see how the lid is still drying. Try and move it over a little bit more to the Sorry about the shadow from the camera, isn't that crazy? I'm going to try putting the camera at the end of my table so we can get a better a better view. So I'm going to go ahead and move that and I'll come right back. That's me. I have rearranged my space and well, I've actually relocated my camera. So I'm just moving some things and my tripod and so forth. So just want to get a little closer with this box for you and show you the results of the crackling on the crackle finish this is what it looks like ultimately so I don't know if you can see those really thick areas they stay raised it actually looks like old peeling paint I love this finish so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, 
and uh, seal it. But I wanted to show you the final results. So there you go, Holly Miller. Anybody else that wants to know what I do to get my crackle oh, finish. That razor is going to really amazing. show. But that's what happens when you don't touch it. <laughs> and go back and fix and fix. Okay, thanks for watching.